Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sitting here in my 2004 Lincoln LS and as you could tell this video is going to be about speakers. This car has the THX sound system, fantastic sound system, and basically what happened is the speakers are trashed. As you could tell this is the original one right here. It has disintegrated around the top of the rim here, the foam. So what happens is you wind up having a lot of vibration and you know what? You're not supposed to be able to see yourself through the speaker. So we have a hole right here. This is the factory speaker to this vehicle. I was able to find exactly identical brand new ones. I have two of these. Uh, these were $123. I'm going to put the link in the description below so you guys can pick them up. The reason I went with these originals and they are exactly the same spec, same watt. So these are 45 watt. Uh, two ohm rated speakers identical to the actual factory ones in this 04 uh, LS V8 uh, Which is also similar to a lot of the Alpine systems from 2002 to 2006 Now once again the reason I went with these is because they have factory wiring So this is the original wiring harness to this vehicle uh, What you can do you could also buy regular 6x9 speakers like this at pretty much any uh, Audio store Walmart wherever you want, but you will have to wire it yourself. So Let's just take a look at it. This is the factory one, the same exact wiring system. So these are pretty much as plug and play as you could possibly get. Just open up the rear deck. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did. Take out the speaker covers. These are what the speaker covers in the back look like. They uh, pretty much come out really easily. All you do is squeeze this grill like this and they will pop out. These are little side protector things. They go inside uh, the rear deck and you're good to go. All you have there to secure them are four screws like this. So you take out four screws with a small wrench like this. This is, I'll tell you the bit I'm using, a nine millimeter uh, head right here. Four, you plug it back in and you're good to go. For $123, you could keep the system stock and sounding good and thumping just like the way I like my bass. First thing, open up the trunk and drop this rear deck protector. This is basically just a little cover. It's secured in with a couple uh, clips right here. As you can tell, I ripped one out, uh, but some did come out. You could easily just replace them. It's not a big deal. Come to your speaker and disconnect the speaker wire itself. Next thing, remove the rear headrest just to get a little bit more working space here. And then we're gonna remove the grill cover. So I'm gonna squeeze it in and hopefully it'll come out easy. There we go. There are four screws around the corner. Let's just take them out. Now we can just remove the speaker. This cover's already kind of disintegrated and fallen off. And the speaker will just lift out. You can tell this one is heavily damaged also. It's not supposed to be able to, uh, you know, be seen through. This is the brand new speaker. It's insulation is the reverse. Just drop it in and bolt it up. So that was it, that was the full install. Basically took me, you know, five to 10 minutes. You saw how easy that was, and now I have factory sound. I really love the sound system in this car, and I really recommend that you guys pick up these speakers. I already listened to them, and I'll tell you this, they sound identical to the factory speakers. Um, really good subwoofer, and as you saw, very easy to connect to the car. No issues, you're not gonna short out anything. You don't even have to solder anything. So if you guys have, a couple of these blown speakers. Now they're not actually blown, they just vibrate a lot because of the cone, there's a lot of missing material here. You should pick up a pair just like this and you'll be good to go. Thanks.